Welcome to the Big Four Accounting Firms podcast, brought to you by BigFourAccountingFirms.com. In today's podcast, we are going to be talking about KPMG's revenue release. They finally released their results, and KPMG's finally got some really good news, as we've been covering a lot of bad news for KPMG recently, but KPMG finally has some great news. They reported global revenues of $32.13 billion for fiscal year 21. And it says that their focus on strategy enables 10% growth. Uh, I'm not sure what that strategy is. But what led their growth is advisory. Their advisory practice grew at 17%. And this is in line with what we've been talking about because uh, I, we've been saying that all the big four accounting firms are going to do really well during COVID because of of additional governmental spending. And these governments send it out to contractors and the big four accounting firms when a lot of that work. Now, what puts it as put this at risk is that is KPMG's UK practice uh, potentially being cut out of all potential uh, governmental work in the future, but also the damage to their brand. But advisory grew the most at 17%. In prior year, advisory was... 11.67 billion and this year it grew to 13.65 billion and that's much larger now than their audit practice their audit practice brings in 11.46 billion and their tax and legal services bring in about 7 billion a year so what we see now is that the big four accounting firms are becoming more and more advisory and consulting businesses than they are audit practices and audit practices are not growing that well. And I think that's a good thing for KPMG not to grow their audit practice because I think KPMG is too far behind on audit to try and catch up and try and win big audits. And they've obviously struggled with that in UK being a perfect example. So why increase your risk exposure on the audit side when you obviously making huge gains? on the advisory side. The only downside to that is if the economy takes a downturn, then you're then you're beholden to to consulting going down a lot because all this money could go down. But the one advantage to this of, of focusing more on consulting is if you believe that governments are just going to get bigger, then you can win a lot of governmental work and that'll keep you afloat even during the bad times because uh, government spending uh, tends not to de- decrease that much. This episode is brought to you by Voomer. Voomer helps you ace the interview at the big four accounting firms, and it does this by helping you practice on questions typically asked on the big four interview. And if you use the link or promo code big, and if you use the link, which goes to tryvoomer.com slash big four or the promo code BIG4, then listeners get 10% off their purchase. So go ahead and check out their website, tryboomer.com, and see if you like all the tools they have that can help you prep for your Big Four interview and you do choose to purchase it, make sure to use the link in the show notes because with that link, you're going to get 10% off or make sure to use our promo code. All the details are in the show notes. And another thing that KPMG focused on in their release was talking about ESG. And they said that they really want to focus on ESG over the next three years and they want to bring that into the forefront. And that can be multiple things. They can be client focused and helping their clients with ESG disclosures, but it could also be helping governmental institutions deal with that and implement ESG standards and understand ESG standards. So, or if governments have contracts related to ESG measures, then they can potentially make money there as well. And another key release was the number of employees. KPMG grew their employees from 226 thousand to 230,000. So, so they're growing pretty steadily here with their employees, but they're way behind the other big four accounting firms. And we know that Deloitte is the largest big four accounting firm with 50 billion in revenue. PwC has 45 billion and ENY has 40 billion. And now KPMG bringing up the rear with 32 billion, they finally got across 30 billion. And so if it would have been a really bad year if KPMG did not break $30 billion because last year they made less money than they did in 2019, so they really needed to break $30 billion to try and catch up to the other big four accounting firms, but they're still way, way behind. 
And with all the other, with all the issues in UK and various other issues globally, we'll have to see whether they make these same advances. I think they, I think they will make similar growth as long as they don't damage their brand too much because of the governmental spending, as I spoke before, and this new ESG measures and focusing on there, I think is also a smart idea as far as ESG goes. But we finally got the KPMG numbers and that's the update for today. We're going to dive more into this in future episodes. So make sure to subscribe to this podcast and check out the show notes for useful links.